Unit 1, Lesson 4, Parallelograms. Number 1. Select all of the parallelograms. For each figure that is not selected, explain how you know it is not a parallelogram. Figure B is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are the same length. Figure C is also a parallelogram with opposite sides being the same length and opposite sides being parallel. Figure A is not a parallelogram, it's a trapezoid. One set of opposite side lengths are not parallel and the other set of opposite side lengths are not the same length. Figure D is a pentagon and figure E is a right triangle. Number 2A. Decompose and rearrange this parallelogram to make a rectangle. B. What is the area of the parallelogram? Explain your reasoning. Number 3. Find the area of the parallelogram. The area is base times height. The base is 10 centimeters. The height is 3 centimeters. The area would be 10 times 3. The area is 30 square centimeters. Number 4. Explain why this quadrilateral is not a parallelogram. These opposite sides highlighted in red are not parallel and they're not the same length. These opposite sides highlighted in yellow are parallel, however, they're not the same length. This quadrilateral is not a parallelogram because its opposite sides highlighted in red are not the same length and not parallel, and the opposite sides highlighted in yellow are not the same length. To be a parallelogram, the opposite sides would have to be parallel and be the same length. Number 5. Find the area of each shape. Show your reasoning. The area of the shape is 2 units by 6 units, which is 12 square units. We've turned the one shape into two shapes, and the areas of the two shapes are 3 by 5 and 1 by 4. 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 4 is 4, 15 plus 4 is 19. The combined area of the original shape is 19 square units. Here's a closer look at the 19 square units. 15 square units in the larger shape and 4 square units in the smaller shape. Number 6. Find the areas of the rectangles with the following side lengths. A. 5 inches and 1 third inches. 5 over 1 times 1 third equals 5 thirds square inches. B. 5 inches and 4 thirds inches. 5 over 1 times 4 thirds equals 20 thirds square inches. C. 5 halves inches and 4 thirds inches. 5 over 2 times 4 thirds equals 20 sixths, which is the same as 10 thirds.
10 thirds square inches. D, 7 sixth inches and 6 sevenths inches. 7 sixths times 6 sevenths equals 42 over 42, which is the same as 1. The area is 1 square inch.